Hello. Are you planning to take the Master Plumber Licensure exam? Well, you are at the right channel. Welcome to Audio Review. A refresher video for on-the-go people, where we will have tons of activities and drills to help you prepare for the upcoming exam. Before we start, please note that we accept concerns and questions, so don't hesitate to comment down below. We will also be giving away free review materials soon. Mechanics will be posted or you can email us at audioreview.yt at gmail.com. For today's topic, we will continue to part 3 of Plumbing Arithmetic. Are you ready? Let us start. Question 51. A branch of trigonometry which deals with triangles in the two dimensions of the plane. A. Plane trigonometry. B. Spherical trigonometry. C. Conical trigonometry. D. Surface trigonometry. The answer? It's A. Plane trigonometry. Plane trigonometry. A branch of trigonometry which deals with triangles in the two dimensions of the plane. Plane trigonometry. Question 52. In any triangle, the square of any one side is equal to the sum of the square of the two other sides subtracted to twice the product of the two sides and their included angle. A. Sine law. B. Cosine law. C. Tangent law. D. Law of tangents. The answer? It's B. Cosine law. Cosine law. In any triangle, the square of any one side is equal to the sum of the square of the two other sides subtracted to twice the product of the two sides and their included angle. Cosine law. Question 53. A gas law that states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at constant temperature varies inversely with the applied pressure when the temperature and mass are constant. A. General gas law. B. Boyle's law. C. Charles' law. D. Newton's law. The answer? It's B. Boyle's law. Boyle's law. A gas law that states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at constant temperature varies inversely with the applied pressure when the temperature and mass are constant. Boyle's law. Question 54. It is defined as the force of gravity on the object and may be calculated as the mass times the acceleration of gravity. A. Mass B. Weight C. Newton D. Work The answer? It's B. Weight Weight It is defined as the force of gravity on the object and may be calculated as the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Weight. Note that weight is equal to mass times the acceleration of gravity. Question 55. It refers to the difference between the future worth of a negotiable paper and its present worth. A. Interest. B. Discount. C. Annuity. D. Perpetuity. The answer? It's B. Discount. Discount. It refers to the difference between the future worth of a negotiable paper and its present worth. Discount. Question 56. The estimated value of an asset at the end of its useful life. A. Useful life. B. Salvage value. C. First cost. D. Book value. The answer? It's B. Salvage value. Salvage value. The estimated value of an asset at the end of its useful life. Salvage value. Question 57. The simplest method in computing depreciation. It involves simple allocation of an even rate of depreciation every year over its useful life. A. Straight line method. B. Sinking fund method. C. Declining balance method. D. Sum of years digit method. The answer? It's A. Straight line method. Straight line method. The simplest method in computing depreciation. 
It involves simple allocation of an even rate of depreciation every year over its useful life. Straight line method. Question 58. A depreciation method that provides funds for the replacement of an asset at the end of its useful life. A. Straight line method. B. Sinking fund method. C. Declining balance method. D. Sum of years digit method. The answer? It's B. Sinking fund method. Sinking fund method. A depreciation method that provides funds for the replacement of an asset at the end of its useful life. Sinking fund method. Question 59. An accelerated depreciation technique which is based on the assumption that assets are generally more productive when they are new and their productivity decreases as they become old. A. Straight line method. B. Sinking fund method. C. Declining balance method. D. Sum of years digit method. The answer? It's D. Sum of years digit method. Sum of years digit method. An accelerated depreciation technique which is based on the assumption that assets are generally more productive when they are new and their productivity decreases as they become old. Sum of years digit method. Question 60. Newton's law stating that every object of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. A. Law of inertia. B. Law of acceleration. C. Law of reaction. D. Charles's law. The answer? It's A. Law of inertia. Law of inertia. Newton's law stating that every object of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. Law of inertia. Question 61. The place where the buyers and sellers come. A. Bid bulletin. B. Bid meeting. C. Market. D. Negotiation. The answer? It's C. Market. Market. The place where the buyers and sellers meet. Market. Question 62. Identify the type of market situation. A market with many sellers with one buyer. A. Monopoly. B. Monopsony. C. Bilateral monopoly. D. Perfect competition. The answer? It's B. Monopsony. Monopsony. A market with many sellers with one buyer. Monopsony. Question 63. It is the selection of items such that the order of selection does not matter. A. Combination. B. Probability. C. Permutation. D. Compound. The answer? It's A. Combination. Combination. It is the selection of items such that the order of selection does not matter. Combination. Question 64. It is how likely an event will happen expressed as the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. A. Combination. B. Probability. C. Permutation. D. Compound. The answer? It's B. Probability. Probability. It is how likely an event will happen expressed as the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. Probability. Question 65. In a roll of a pair of dice, what is the probability that the sum of two numbers is 11? A. 1 half. B. 1 quarter. C. 1 eighteenth. D. 1 twentieth. The answer? It's C. 1 over 18th. Let's compute. Remember that a die has six outcomes ranging from 1 to 6. If we roll two dice, we would have 36 outcomes in total because 6 times 6 is 36. The question asks what two numbers sum to 11 when added. It would be numbers 5, 6, and 6, 5. Now let's substitute the formula. 
probability is equals to the number of outcomes which is 2 divided by the total number of outcomes which is 36. Simplify, we will have 1 18th. Question 66. How many four-digit numbers can be formed without repeating any digit from the following digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? A. 100 B. 120 C. 125 D. 130 The answer? It's B. 120 Let's compute! This is a question on permutation because it asks for the combination of numbers without repeating. The formula is n factorial divided by the, the factorial of n minus r. Wherein n is the number of permutation which is 5, while r is the numbers taken which is 4. Let's substitute. 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided 1. Simplified, it's 120 divided by 1 factorial because 5 minus 4 is equals to 1. Question 67. These are expression of both a real number and an imaginary number. A. Complex numbers. B. Exponents. C. Radicals. D. Fractions. The answer? Complex numbers. Complex numbers. These are expression of both a real number and an imaginary number. Complex numbers. Question 68. Identify the type of market situation. A market with two sellers with many buyers. A. Duopoly. B. Duopsony. C. Oligopoly. D. Oligopsony. The answer? It's A. Duopoly. Duopoly. Identify the type of market situation. A market with two sellers with many buyers. Duopoly. Question 69. It is an interest computed only on the principal or the original amount borrowed. A. Interest. B. Simple interest. C. Annuity. D. Discount. The answer? It's B. Simple interest. Simple interest. It is an interest computed only on the principal or the original amount borrowed. Simple interest. Question 70. It is a solid bounded by a conical surface whose directrix is a closed curve and a plane which cuts all the elements. A. Cone. B. Pyramid. C. Cylinder. D. Triangle. The answer? It's a cone. Cone. It is a solid bounded by a conical surface whose directrix is a closed curve and a plane which cuts all the elements. Cone. Break time. How is your score? Have you passed? If you have any concerns and suggestions, please leave your comments or you can email us at audioreview.yd at gmail.com. Part 4 will be on the next video. Link will be posted soon so don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell to be updated. Good luck!